Hello. Hi. I have a deck of cards to help me tell a story. Alicia, can you help me out? Can you give them a little shuffle? Give them a little mix up. Beautiful. Ooh, this is... Don't judge me. They're a new pack of cards. Oh, wow. You're upstaging me now. I don't like it. There you go. That'll do. That'll do, Magic Perfect. Mike. <laughs> you have shuffled the hell out of it. Shane, can you help me? Yeah, of course. Um, I'm going to get you to say stop whenever you like. Uh, stop. Have a look. Don't let me see it, actually. Can you sign it on the face of the card? And nice and big, right, Shane? You can show the other judges. You can hold it up and show the team if you trust them. Um, there it is. There. Perfect. Thank you. Throw it in the middle here. Copy that. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you. David, I'm actually got the biggest man crush on you, so I want to start here. Is that all right? The feeling's mutual. Oh, <laughs> and if you do want to take off your clothes, Magic Mike, feel free. <laughs> Everyone has their price, David. We, we can sort this out. But I honestly, I've came here to tell you all a story. Okay. That means a lot to me, and um, I hope you like it. It's actually a story about a guy I know named Jack. And if you met Jack, you'd probably think he's the luckiest guy in the world. I mean, he's got a loving family and plenty of mates. And they think he's kind of funny. They always think of him as a bit of a joker. And when he's out in the town with his mates, they really get around him. They call him the king, which is kind of ironic because whenever the night ends up at the karaoke bar, he's the one always singing Queen. Wow. But even on the most joyous of occasions, like Christmas or even his birthday, he would often look around at the full house of family and friends having such a good time. And he'd stop and think, what's wrong with me? Like, why can't I have fun? And the more he thought about this, the worse he felt. And the worse he felt, the more guilty he felt. And all of a sudden, he'd have shame and become flush with emotion. So what would Jack do? He'd find a nice, quiet room in the house and cry. You see, Jack was a 28-year-old man. And in his mind, 28-year-old males, they needed to be strong. They don't talk about their feelings. And it wasn't until he learned that one in 10 Australians actually seek professional help that he realised he wasn't alone. And that's what gave him the courage to talk to his friends. And when he did, they thought it showed true heart to talk about his feelings. So he started to do some research and he was shocked to learn that in the most recent year, 3,318 Australians took their own lives. That's 63 people every single week. 63. And for every person that did, another 20 attempted to. In Australia, suicide is the leading cause of death for people aged between 15 to 44. And he didn't want to become another statistic. But do you know what really helped Jack? It was hearing other people's stories. And not just stories from his friends and family, but stories from Australian royalty. Australians in politics, Australians in fashion and business, even some Australian sporting legends. Hearing these people share their own personal stories about their struggles helped Jack recognise his fears and made him realise he's not alone. So do you know what Jack decided to do? Jack decided to share his story on Australia's Got Talent. And by sharing this story today, I hope I can make just at least one person get their head straight. So now more than ever, do we need people to have the courage to reach out. There's a trained professional with a phone call away. 24 seven. Don't cry, mate. Thank you. I want all Australians genuinely who are struggling with their mental health to remember that without the rain, there can be no rainbow. 
So I want all Australians to shine bright like a diamond. <laughs>